I'm gonna take this, glue it up to this, and turn it into this. Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I wanna show you how to make a column cap and a column base when you're wrapping your posts and doing some trim work on a deck. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thanks for coming to our channel, we really appreciate it. So the other day in an in a earlier video, we were making some really thin pieces. We were taking a piece of TimberTech Azek and we were ripping it on this thing called a shop fox, which is a jig that we put on our table saw to make really thin pieces of skin. So go back and watch that video if you didn't see it already to kind of get caught up on what this video is about and how we transform those parts into something else to make this. All right, so what we did is we took those, those sheets that we cut out of the decking boards and we cut them down into one inch strips. Why one inch? Well, that's the thickness of this deck board. What I wanna do with this is actually glue it onto the end of this piece right here so it gives it a factory look because we like to do a lot of butt joints and you're gonna see why I'm doing butt joints in a minute because when we make these column bases and column caps, they will screw together a lot better with a butt joint than they will with a miter. So I'm kind of known as an anti-miter on the internet. I don't do a lot of miters in my work. It's because where I live and my conditions and the type of weather we get, butt joints work a lot better. There's a big discussion on that. We've talked about it several times, but that's just my thing. It's my policy, it's my company. I'm gonna do what I want, you do what you want. You can follow along and implement some of the things that we do in our builds, or you can just do you. You know, stick with miters. Maybe miters work better where you live. This is just something I've done over the years and I'm just working to always improve. So we are going to glue these on the end grain. So I'm gonna do one of those really quick and show you how I do that. And what we use is some super glue, a PVC cement and some accelerator. Accelerator just makes it stick a lot faster. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a sample. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run a bead of glue right down the middle of this piece of this part. Cause when I push it down onto the board, it's gonna disperse a little bit. And then it's gonna have an instant 10 second bond when I spray some accelerator onto this piece right here. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Just put a little bit, you don't have to use a whole bunch. That was probably too much according to Studio Man, but we're in an exterior environment. I just wanna make sure it's gonna stick. So I have my accelerator on the board. I have my glue on my piece. You do have to orientate these pieces because when you make these, they could become a little bit shorter than the height of the decking. So I always put my edge to the top of one and two. I'm gonna spin this around so you guys can see better. And then I'm gonna push down on that for about 10 seconds. And then that is going to fuse itself together. You can see I got a little bit of squeeze out on the back side right here. I can move that away with my finger, but this is already glued itself to this board. So then what I'm gonna do, see I have a nice flush top, but you can see on the bottom, there's a little bit of the deck board showing. That's because when I make these parts, I'm taking a thin strip off of this deck board. I'm not getting the overall height. So these little pieces come a little bit shorter, but that's okay because we're gonna paint that and you really won't see it. So once these are all glued up, so we had to make 44 of these individual pieces to create 11 column caps and column bases. So we made 88 boards all together. So we had to make 44 small ones. I'm doing two different sizes. I'm doing a five and a half inch column top and a seven and a half inch column base. So we have two different thicknesses of decking materials that we're using to create the tops and the bottoms of these columns. Now that this is glued on, it still looks a little rough. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take a rasp and I'm gonna detail the edge like so. And I'm gonna kind of round off this top so it goes with the radius of the decking. like so, and give it that nice filed edge. Once I'm happy with how that looks, that's gonna be great, because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take another board and we're gonna screw these together so it, it looks like a factory edge all the way around when we screw these boards together like this, okay? So now that we have this figured out, then what we do next is we take a little bit of paint, color matching paint, and we just paint those ends those sides that you see 
right here. And then what we're gonna do next is actually screw these together into a box. And we're gonna make a three-sided box. I filed this edge as well, so that when it butts up against this, it looks nice, like so. Okay, so I just gotta go get a drill and some screws. I'll be right back and we'll screw this together and then we'll go install it. All right, so now we're gonna screw this together. We're just gonna use two screws and because we're using a butt joint, we can just put two screws through the side and I'm gonna use stainless steel top lock Cortex screws and a Cortex bit and that's going to allow us to just take these two pieces like so and screw it together. So I always put my top in first and then I, I lean this until I get it to where I want it as far as flush. And that side's done. So that's a butt joint instead of a miter, okay? But see how nice it looks? And then we'll put Cortex plugs in here and you'll never see the fasteners. So I have one side done. So now I'm gonna do another side like this. So they're, they're overlapping. So one side overlaps the other side, and then this side overlaps this side. So you're always covering up one end grain when you're doing it. So we'll go ahead and get these screws started. Okay, we'll line that up. Get the bottom looking good. Okay, so now we have three sides of our box done. So now it's time to go over to the post. So we'll put this around the post, then we'll put our fourth piece on, get it the way we want it, and then we can put it up into place and lock it in and then that'll be done. We have to do that today, we have to do that about 12 times. So anyways, so we're, at least we're to that point, let's go ahead and take this over to a post and get it placed. Now. Remember what I was telling you guys about, like sometimes the piece doesn't quite make it on both sides, like on this side here. You can see this side's pretty flush, this side has a little bit showing. We're gonna point, we're gonna put it upside down so that this face is up on top. That way you're not gonna see this when you're looking up. Let's go over to a post, we'll get it wrapped around the post and then we'll get it installed. Okay, so here's our three-sided box. Now, I when I made these, I made them a little bit bigger than this, so that when you put these on, there's a little bit of play. So I'm gonna slide this on like that. And then this piece, when pushed, I mean, it's close. It still has a little bit of play. So I'm going to get a screw ready here. And right now, all we're doing is screwing the box together we're not screwing it to the post. Looks like I need to grab a clamp. There we go. Okay, that's three sides. Okay, my bottom is flush, fits pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the bottom screw in first. And then I'm gonna take the clamp off and let it release a little bit so I can get a flush edge here. Okay, this is actually the top column wrap, not the bottom. So I'm gonna, slide this up all the way to the top of the post and then we'll install it. It is pretty snug so just remember to leave yourself enough wiggle room so that you can get this piece up to, into position where you need it or you would install it way up there which is a little more difficult to do but we'll just go ahead and move it up and then we'll get it installed. Okay, so I have this where I want it. It's in place. I just need to put screws on two sides to keep it together. I don't have to actually put a screw on every side of the column. So I'm gonna put one right in the middle right here. And we'll cortex that later. So on this side, I have to be careful. I know that there's a, a metal bracket that hangs down about two and a half inches that's holding this beam to this post on the inside of all this. So I'm just gonna hang this screw down a little bit lower just to make sure I clear all that. And then all we have to do now is put in our Cortex plugs and then that column top will be done. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. That's really all there is to it as far as just giving a little more detail to a post and making a wrap post look a little bit nicer with a column top and, a, and we'll also have a base we'll put on the bottom. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon if you wanna be notified when we're putting out new content. Like this video, leave us a comment below. Let us know what you think of this detail. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.